Hi, hi, hi guys. So today I have a very quick little project for you to do. It is a gift card holder, a wallet, um, anything that you kind of want it to be. And it is done in one hooping in the five by seven hoop this one is designed for. And it has the space for the cards. So they just slide in and out. See that there? And it has a snap on the front. It has an eyelet version and a snap top version, but the snap top is very short, so I suggest a rivet. So you've got that. As well, you have a version that has a flat line across of it. You have one that's a little V cut, and you have one that has the little half round to help make it easier for people that like that to pull in and out of the cards. So you've got that, you've got that, and you've got this one. All right, so today in the video, we will be doing the one with the little V cut on it. So there's the front, there's the back, and let's get started. All right, so to get started, the things we will need for this project are a hoop with some stabilizer in it, and I suggest using this material for the stabilizer for this type of a project called Ollie Fun Fabric. It is a type of a crafting material that's kind of plasticky, and it has a little bit of a mesh kind of a look to it. It's quite hard to tear if you don't have any uh, cuts in it. So I like that for durability. If it is torn a little bit, it will cut. It, or sorry, if it is cut a little bit, it will uh, tear. So I'll show you that here. So here's a scrap piece. So if you, if you have it one way, it will tear like that. However, it's harder to tear the other way. And like I said, if there isn't any cuts in it, then it's a type of material that's a little bit harder to tear. So I like that. So you need a stabilizer, and I'm using the Ollie Fun fabric. And then you need a lining piece for this one. Uh, it helps keep the inside neat and the cards slide in and out nice on this fabric. As well, it helps to add the thickness that is needed kind of uh, for the inside pockets for this design. So you need a piece for that and it's going to go around the top portion. You need a piece of vinyl that's going to be going for the top flap portion of it. You will also need a piece of vinyl that's going to go on the front of the hoop here, up there. And another piece of vinyl that is going to go on to the bottom half of the hoop, and these two will match up. And you will need some type of a snap, or if you're using the eyelet, the eyelet one, or rivets for the snap top. So the first thing is to go around the placement stitch. So I went and I ran that placement stitch and the next thing that we have to do for this pattern is to get some pens or chalk or whatever you like to use. These are friction pens that come away with heat so this is what I use. And we need to just draw a couple of lines to show where things will go once the, once the um, vinyl is on. So what you need to do is you need to turn it to the back side. Although it's hard for you guys to see that. All right, so you would draw these on the back. I'm gonna draw them on the front right now so you can see them. And this line up here, so this area up here is obviously the top flap. And this line up here is important for the top flap uh, piece to go on. So I like to take that line and then extend it out a little further. So that when I have it on the back, there, you can kind of see that, that I'll be able to see that, those lines when I am using them. 
for adding the top piece on. I'm just going to extend that. All right, so I think you can see them there. And the next thing that we need to do is this top line, little notches right here, right under that. These are going to be used to put in the pocket piece. So we also need to be able to see those. Should be able to see those ones on the back because this is where we need to use them on the back. And then this one down here, this notch that's kind of about halfway, that notch will be used to line up my two pieces of vinyl. And it's also a cutting line, so you definitely need to be able to see that one. All right, so you can see on the back that I can see the lines that I need to work with. Just flip it over, you can see it a little bit better. All right, so this is the top flat portion. This is the center card pocket portion. And this here is the portion that's going to be used for the inner card that will get cut out and put onto the bottom. So the next thing that needs to be done is something that I suggest is using another piece of lining material. And it's gonna help cover up these little notch lines on the inside. And you turn it to the back and you put the lining piece on so that it covers the inside portion here. Let me just show you. So you want it to cover this portion. It does not need to cover the tab portion. It's not going to be in there, but it needs to be on the inside. So put that on, tape it in place, and take it back to the machine and run the tack down. So I have gone back and I have added that piece of material there. So you need to turn it to the back, take off a little bit of tape, and just trim away the excess material around it. Alright, so now that we have that done, we need to add the pieces of vinyl to the front. And so you've got the two pieces of vinyl here, and then you have this line down here. Let's see, is this easier? So then you have this line down here, and this is the line that you need to match the two pieces up with. So I like to use tape and a 505 adhesive spray. You just add this and make sure it lines up with that piece over here. Make sure you're also covering everything else. And then the smaller one gets added to the bottom half. And I go ahead and I like to tape this one in place up here. All right, so the next thing that gets done is this bottom half piece here. This is the card pocket piece, and it's going to do the top stitching for the edge. All right, so now that we have that one little piece done for the card pocket, what you need to do is, at that line that is drawn across here, you just need to cut across that and show you here you need to cut on the outside of the placement lines so we'll turn that over and there's the placement line here and here and I'm cutting a little bit on the outside so I get a seam allowance And you will have a hole in your stabilizer, that's okay. And you will have a second piece, which is the pocket piece. So you can see here, it's a little bit difficult to see here, but you can kind of see where those placement lines were. So you want those there. And then what we need to do is just cut off the edge 
So on the outside, so this is the inside of the pocket portion, and then up here is the outside edge. So you want to keep about an eighth of an inch. All right, so you have that nice little edge there. And then what you want to do is you want to cut that as well, keeping a nice about eighth of an inch. So on the back here, you can kind of see the original placement line, which is this one here. There's a little bit showing for the original placement line. And I did that so that when you are cutting this out, you can use that as the eighth inch marking. Right. So this piece is now ready to be put on and you do want to keep it so that you have the edges that are there. So this kind of lines the pocket piece. Now, if you are adding a cam snap to this, you probably don't need to, but if you're adding another type of snap, it would be really good to add a piece of material in here like a iron on stabilizer of some sort if you are adding a snap so that it doesn't pull because this material can pull a lot with snaps. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is get back the hooping piece here and we are going to add these to the back of the hoop. So you turn the hoop over and you get your piece that was for the top flap area. All right, and then you put this lining it up to the red line. Don't go over the red line and don't come so you need to go to the red line because if you come here, it's not going to catch the stitches. And if you go past the red line, it's not going to be in a good place so that the wallet will fold nice. So you really just want to go to that red line area and make sure that you're covering the whole piece. All right, so we have that one. And then to add, the pocket piece, you need to line this up and with this pocket, because there is a placement stitch going down here, it's a little hard to see because it's in white, but there's a placement stitch right here and a placement stitch right here. You can see that. So this lines up in between those two placements. So these two little lines will line up to the placement stitches in there. And then this whole top edge needs to line up to the pocket line. So just make sure those are good and taped down. And then we are going to have a look here to see how they line up with those marks. So then you take it back to the machine, just make sure this is on, and then we are going to run the final stitching to keep it all together. So I went and we have the last stitch done. As you can see that is the front of the hoop, which is, I guess, you could consider this to be the back of the pouch. And this is the back of the hoop where we have the card slot here and the top flap area. All right, so now the next thing is to cut it out. That is now cut out and you can see that you've got a nice little flap there. And the next thing that we need to do is to add the snap here. 
So I like to make sure that this fold that's showing here is really nice and straight near the top here. Then just giving this a good press. All right. And so now we can add the snap. Now we can add the snap here on the top first. All right, I just wanted to show you the piece that I have for the inside here. It's a little kind of back post here. And because the vinyl is just one layer with one layer of lining on it, and I, I like to add a little bit extra so that it doesn't push through, I've just cut out a circle of material put a hole in that and then put it through so that now I'm going to put that on the inside which is going to help give me the extra layer I need to support that snap. And then I'm going to do the rivets. And there we have it. There's the front, there's the back. So I really hope you like this project and I hope you are going to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else and give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful day.